Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to be decorating the rest of my house for Christmas. First of all, I have four trees and currently I have two of my four trees set up. This year I wasn't going to put all four of my trees up, but my husband Ryan, his grandmother is coming from Australia and since she's coming, you know, to America, I wanted her to see our house in its fullest glory. And it's probably the last year we're going to be in this house for Christmas because we will be moving, hopefully. Like, fingers crossed and toes. Literally anything I can cross, let me cross it right now. But I'm going to be setting up my Africa tree, which goes in this area. And then after we set up this Africa tree, I'm going to decorate the wall unit on the other side of the Africa tree with all of my like vintage Christmas items. And then in my bedroom, I also put up a dessert sweets tree, which is now a dessert tree slash Peru tree slash unicorn tree. So just like cute fluffy things. It's kind of pastels with jewel tones and it has like a kawaii theme to it. But I'm gonna set everything up, show you how I decorate my trees and hopefully it inspires you to set up your trees. This tree, if anyone is wondering, I purchased this three years ago, I believe potentially even four years ago from Lowe's and it has this fabulous like glitter flocking on it, which I absolutely adore. It is messy, but I don't care if glitter gets in my house. So for me, it's fine. Um, for people who don't like glitter in their house, do not buy a flocked glitter tree. One tip I'd like to suggest whenever you are setting up your tree, I always put each individual section in by themselves. And then after I insert the first section, I will spread all of the branches. Um, and it makes a big difference because whenever you're looking at the tree, you don't see holy spots and it makes it easier to put the ornaments on whenever all of the branches are already spread for you. I go around and then it's easier to spin too that way. So I'll spread all of these and then I'll put the next section in and I'll spread those and then the next section and spread those. My motto when it comes to Christmas and decorating is more is more. I'm a maximalist. That's just the way it is. This tree just has regular lights on it. And then last year I went to Walmart and I found these twinkling lights because I wanted a tree that twinkled like the Eiffel Tower. Is that ridiculous? Or is it just like everyone should want that, you know? So I set up the entire tree before putting the strand on to make sure that I can get them as evenly dispersed as possible. I found these outside. They came off of the birds and then I sanitize them and wash them two times. And I use commercial grade sanitizer, so do not fear, these are clean. I have all kinds of things that I put on my Africa tree. I have ornaments, I have ribbon, I have sprigs, and um, yeah, I just have an excess and plethora of ornaments. I have too many, but more is more, am I right? Last year, I got all of these. They're like perfectly colored Africa ornaments. They're glass, so it's a little sketch. What I'm going to do whenever I'm putting the glass ornaments on the tree is I'm going to take a blanket and I'm gonna spread it around because I will absolutely drop one or two. But I will be very careful. Um, Callie will probably film me dropping at least one and breaking it. The last thing I'm gonna do is the sprig. So I'm gonna do all of my ornaments and then the sprigs. I failed to mention the ribbon. This is actually the only tree I put ribbon on and every year I had a really hard time doing it and then I saw a little hack on probably Pinterest because that's really the only thing that I'd be scrolling. You take your piece of ribbon and then you pinch it with pipe cleaners and then where this is pinched with the pipe cleaners, this is what I'm going to tuck into the tree. I haven't done this but one time ever. And so I'm gonna tuck it into the tree and then you kind of just like pull the two apart. You can do one single ribbon, but I thought it looked better whenever I watched people do multiple ribbons. I liked two ribbons and the colors that I had of ribbon were very appropriate. I didn't have another one, so I really just had these two but I'm going to tuck it in and hopefully it looks good. Just keep tucking and to give it some nice movement, don't just go around the tree in circles, go up at an angle, like a 45 degree angle. Another hack for you. So whenever I put the pipe cleaners on here to pinch it in, it doesn't always stay. And depending on uh, how the foliage is of your tree, it sometimes tends to like push it out. And whenever you're decorating, keeping it in the right spot is a bit tricky. So if you leave your pipe cleaners long enough, you can use this part here, right? To then pinch and wrap on the tree branch so it stays tucked in exactly where you want it. You don't have to do this, but it does help. When I'm decorating my tree, I find it very difficult to disperse my ornaments evenly. So I'm going to turn off the lights. After I turn the lights off, I'm going to decorate with all of the same ones of the same kind in the same color. 
because I want to evenly disperse them. So I always try to go in a bit of a diamond pattern instead of just trying to randomly find a spot for them. I laid out all of my unique ornaments that are going on this tree for you to see. In the past, I used to, when I would decorate, put all of like the special unique ones up first and then I would put on all the other ones, but I realize it's easier to put the base ornaments on first for me and then put on all of the unique ones. And by unique, I mean ornaments like the animal ones. Found those at a garage sale. Cool thing about these, I made them. I bought these from the Dollar Tree when everything was still a dollar and I drilled these eye hooks in there right here and then I just tied on the hemp to it. But I wanted to put more animals on the tree and buying animal ornaments were so expensive. I felt clever enough to think of this. So I just spray painted them gold, but in the future I want to take like a rub and buff and rub it on there so that it looks like metal. That's my goal. So I'm just gonna stick all of these up and then I'm gonna work my way around to all of the cool unique ornaments. I have this, these really cute ones. This is, I call it my lychee tree. She's my Pomeranian. These look just like her, but I got these at Home Goods. And then I bought the whole matching set. There were giraffes, elephants, and zebras. I also got these at a garage sale. It was like a couple of dollars and I thought, oh, they're, they're cute. They go with the Africa tree. They're a little cheesy and tacky, but I still like them enough to go on the tree. And then this was just from my childhood. I had this hanging up um, in my bedroom. I had a celestial themed bedroom and this was hanging up too. So because they're in the right colors and you know, you see the moon in every country, I figured oh, I'll just stick that up there. This one's gonna be the hardest, but it looks cool to have varying sizes of ornaments on your tree. This is a bit big for the tree, but there's always an empty hole somewhere that this fits into. There's a giant hole, giant hole. So I'm gonna put it right there. It just fills in this spot so nicely. My most important and special ornament, it's a hand painted lychee after she passed. My um, friend had this made for me, so I love this so much. Very, very special to me. And I always put this right where everyone can see it. It makes me nervous that it's a glass ornament, so I make sure that I stick it really, really far back on the branch so that it could never fall off. There's my little lychee, and there's a line that looks just like her right under. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. So much for watching and I hope some of these tips and tricks help you decorate your tree either this year or for future years to come. If you enjoyed this video and don't mind letting me know, feel free to lightly caress that thumbs up button. Have a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. Thanks for watching.